Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Daz. Collectively, we are the Office Blokes. Yes. It's true, yeah. isn't it? It is. It's not a lie. Yeah, we are three common office blokes that don't exist outside our office. <laughs> I do. <laughs> we all disappear when we leave the We front. don't exist inside <laughs> the office. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. According to a lot of people. Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, we are looking for a new intro for our channel, and we've, what did we give it till? The 14th of April? 15th. 15th of April. I think so, yeah. For submissions. So we're going to keep that same music, but feel free to jazz it up, you know, sample it, do whatever you want. Uh, some sort of animation or just something cool. And uh, we'll do a poll. We'll see what people think. We'll have the final decision. And then it'll be our intro forever until Until the next not. time. Yeah, until until it's, not. it's not, yeah. We're going to get a night out with Mike in the Hacienda. I thought it was in a gay village. <laughs> Wherever. Yeah, their choice. Yeah, yeah fair enough. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so email us officeblokesreact at gmail.com with your submissions. We look forward to seeing them. And we have had some good ones already. So, uh, yeah, make sure they're good. Yeah, bring it on. Yeah. Come on. Nice one. Right, 11 common things that don't exist outside the USA. Ooh, Mexicans. This could be anything. <laughs> Me- Mexicans. <laughs> I've never met a Mexican anywhere else other than in America. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've never, never been, been to Mexico. Mexico. No, <laughs> <laughs> it could be a myth. <laughs> it's, I'm surprised that many things that exist in in the USA that don't exist outside the USA, um, because they're the big exporter of everything they do. Absolutely. So when you go to countries like Saudi Arabia, it's very Americanized. Right. Okay. So you get a lot of American sort of like you know you get you'll you'll probably never heard of a shop called Applebee's, for example. I've heard probably, of it, but you probably never come across them or yeah, never seen like one. The, but the I've Olive heard Garden, it. for yeah. example, things yeah, like yeah. you don't really get them over here. But yeah. you go to the Middle East, and that, that them franchises are everywhere. Yeah, right, so okay. Applebee's, sort of yeah. Gardens, and all this. And it's I mean, a lot of things in the US do tend to migrate over, certainly to the UK, don't they? Yeah, a lot of things. Yeah. You know, it starts in the US, and then eventually mm. we get it over here. Yeah. I wonder but, if I wonder if it's more fire hydrants, for example, like the iconic red yeah, ones. Yeah. probably aren't anywhere maybe. else. Or, yeah, maybe. Or maybe the way cities have been built, you know, very modular, square. Blocks. No, because you get them, you get them, that's that's again various parts of the world. You'll see Do different you? things like that. Yeah, same right. as the fine, same as the, tele- the red telephone boxes. You see them in certain other countries where people oh, have really? bought them from the UK, ah, and they yeah. put them in there just as like a novelty sort of like thing in the streets. You know, I think it, I think years gone by, maybe places like India, maybe with Commonwealth countries, yeah. they probably mm-hmm. had them anyway, yeah. didn't they? To be yeah. fair, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see anyway. But yeah, interesting. This. Yeah, let's do it. Common Eleven things, common things that exist that don't exist outside the USA. Let's do it. <laughs> Chocolate chip cookies, dental floss, traffic lights, all great American inventions. These things originated in America but are now all over the world. But if you think that everything American is in every other country, then you'd be wrong. There are some things you just don't see outside of the USA. I'm Charlie and today we're going to look at 11 common things that don't exist outside the USA. Before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming up first. So you got 100 million subs on this. <laughs> Look like it, didn't it? That's not <laughs> bad. I hope so. We have medical and lawyer ads. <laughs> if you're not from the USA but have gone to visit, I'm sure you switched on the TV and heard this phrase. Ask your doctor if this product is right for you. And then, most likely, a big list of scary warnings and side effects. This is something that only happens in America and it's advertising for medical products. Outside the USA, it's weird to see commercials for medical related things. There's one other country in the Australia. world, does it? It's New Zealand. New Zealand, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, everywhere else has banned it, haven't they? Yeah. Or have they? Yeah. I like seeing I like seeing stuff on the TV that fucking scares the shit out of people. <laughs> oh God, yeah. Because it's just it opens up a can of worms for people just to moan and yeah. complain, and I love it. Take this migraine medication. Mm. Side effects may include shitting yourself to death. <laughs> like, yeah, that seems like a fair trade off. Is that why <laughs> they put the caveat? Ask your doctor if he's right for you. Is yeah. that the, like the legal yeah. side of it? Is it? Yeah. Just a, always seek medical. Medical. I went to me, yeah. me grandson's party over the weekend, as you know, and they gave out Kinder uh, eggs in the. Like, you know, you give a gift yeah, basket yeah, at, yeah, yeah. at the end to all the other kids. And uh, one of the things inside it was a kinder. And straight away, someone on social media went, Whoa, there's a recall on kinder. And the dates are very similar to the ones they give out, but I think it's just outside the date that's been a recall yeah. on. Oh, right, okay. Mm-hmm. Was it so, chokeable toys? I'm like, Go on, have it, kids. <laughs> I'm, surprised, <laughs> yeah, have another. I'm surprised there's still a thing because yeah. it's, it's chokeable, sort of. No, I think it's to do with salmonella. Oh, really? Mm. Right, okay. Wow. Yeah. Salmonella's not a thing in this country, really. Yeah. It's not. Sorry, is it practically eradicated? I always remember Edwina Curry had it, remember? 
Years ago, like yeah. That. Well, she she started a big uh, scare about eggs, didn't she? Saying yeah. n- pretty much all eggs produced in the country have salmonella in it. And yeah. It, Since it, that, it, scientifically, it might have been something in it, but yeah, it get, just scared everyone into not buying eggs, didn't it? And it was oh, fuck let's get them adverts on TV over here. <laughs> Most people would just go to their doctor and get what their doctor suggests. But in the USA, it's common to see medical things advertised as if they were any other product. But medical ads aren't the only odd advertising you'll see in the USA. Another thing you'll often see is adverts for lawyers. I'm not talking about Saul Goodman from Breaking Bad. Believe it or not, that's not just in TV shows. In the USA, lawyers really do advertise on TV. Did you know that 60% of the world's lawyers reside in the USA? And the USA is said to be the most litigious country in the world. This means the most lawsuits come from inside the USA. Next up is spray cheese. When you think of I thought that was a sex move. (laughs) Let <laughs> me finish your move, top rope. <laughs> you probably oh, think France. Luxurious French cheese is a staple of fine dining around the world. But the USA has a different kind of dairy-based delicacy. That is spray cheese. Cheese is eaten a lot in the USA. In fact, the USA is the world's largest consumer of cheese. But America also loves convenience, and that's why cheese can be bought in a can in the USA. Now, spray cheese is actually only 51% cheese. By law, to call a product what it is, it must be at least half that product. So that's why it's only 51% cheese, not a percentage higher. The other 49% is flavorings, protein, and ingredients. Spray cheese has been big in the USA since the 1960s. And it's even sold in various flavors. For example, cheddar, bacon, and even American flavor. Huh, I wonder what that is. So if you change 2% of the components from cheese to something else, it could be called like a deodorant. Yeah. Instead. You call it whatever you want, but whatever the main ingredient is. Yeah. Has to be half. Yeah. Half, did they say? Yeah. Just over. Yeah. But it stops legally being cheese if it loses 2% of cheese. (laughs) Yeah, it wouldn't be like a cheese spray then, would it? I wonder if you do that spray cheese in a squeezy cheese. Squeezy cheese? Yeah. I don't know. I'm sure, I feel like I tried spray cheese at some point. I feel like it's one of those things that someone maybe tried to launch 20, 30 years ago over here and just flopped. Yeah, because no no one's buying it outside of North. No. (laughs) That's true. true. Next up is garbage disposals. I'm sure you've seen in movies and TV shows how Americans throw their food scraps into the sink. You may think, what happens to them? Do they just sit there? Well, no, they go into what's called a garbage disposal. These things actually only exist in the USA. In other countries, food scraps would be put in the kitchen bin. But why is it that only in America do they use garbage disposals? Well, the reason why is because in many other countries, it's banned. This is because- I don't think the band is. We've got them here. I think we've got them here. Incinerator. They're called. Yeah, I think you definitely can get them yeah. here. Really? Well, they're not one in their house. Yeah. Incinerators, yeah. they're called. And yeah, does I, it, I think you can definitely get them over here. Does it just kind of shred it and then it looked like it, there was a separate thing that maybe screws off? You don't you don't empty it. You don't empty it's it? Not that I'm aware. I don't remember emptying it in the USA. Oh, ah, right. Oh, so it remember. just really grinds it down into like a pulp and just gets washed away? Possibly. With the th- ah, yeah. right, okay. Unless my missus emptied it and never told me. Did you, <laughs> <laughs> what you never did. No. Did, you, did you have a cleaner? Did, yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> did you empty anything? Someone told me the other day about a dishwasher filter. I went, I didn't even know they had one. <laughs> dishwasher? I know. I don't even know which. I, I, this is an honest thing. I, in my house, I'm not sure which is the oven and which is the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> they both look identical. You're not domesticated in any way, shape or form. Well, I don't cook, so hey, I don't why would I need to know? You might want some cheese on toast. me whining. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very environmentally friendly. That's because all of the food is mixed in with the general water waste. This then at some point must be filtered out. So it wastes a lot of energy, but it is convenient. Next up is college sports. Yeah. Every country loves sports. Whether it's cricket in India, football in Spain, or baseball in the USA. But only in the USA are they obsessed with college sports. Every country loves professional sport leagues, and the USA is no exception. But one thing that's different about the USA is that they love college sports as much as regular professional sports. No other country gets behind colleges as much as the USA does. 
If you ask people in other countries if they can name a college team of any other sport, chances are they can't. In other countries, college sports are not broadcast on TV. <laughs> and they also don't make any money at all, as opposed to the millions made in US college sports. In the USA, college football brings in thousands of spectators to fill up stadiums. But in other countries, college football games are lucky if they even get the friends and family of the people involved watching. Also, the biggest stadiums in the USA are pretty much all college football stadiums. Out of the top 15 biggest stadiums in the USA, all 15 are college wow, football wow, stadiums. Wow. The largest yeah. of which being the Michigan Stadium, which can hold over 100,000 fans. Wow. Next wow. up... Do they use it for the... White teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm assuming the professional team use a completely different stadium than yeah, the Michigan. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You'd think they'd share it, wouldn't you, really? But... Also, well, don't need to, do they? But the who's the team in Michigan? Detroit Lions, wouldn't it? Not sure. Right. But there's, there, there might be conflicts, schedule conflicts, and stuff. So. Yeah, but yeah, they don't use so. it. They've, they, they don't use it to college uh, stadiums. They've, no. they've got their own. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. It's uh, it, it just seems bizarre, doesn't it? That the college one is actually bigger than mm. you know, like the regular team. Well, I remember going to um, it was in Maryland, um, and we went to watch uh, Crystal Palace play. I think it was a Crystal Palace team in the USA. It was like a, you know, like an academy type base. Team. Yeah, and it was played at the Army and Navy Stadium in uh, uh, Annapolis, I think it is, somewhere like that. People tell us on there, and um, the fucking stadium was huge. And you mm. imagine how many people are going to attract from Crystal Palace? Yeah, to, uh, <laughs> no, about eight hundred people in there. Yeah, yeah. not a lot. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. probably Crystal Palace firm like yeah. that. It was. My, it was like the, that the, Miami guy. Yeah, <laughs> no, they, they've got they got a big following Palace over here. You know, the fans are mental. Yeah. And a lot of them travelled over because it was a bit of a tour of the USA. They played yeah. a few different teams in the USA, but one of them was against this Palace sort of like academy yeah. team wow. based out of Maryland. I wonder if the college football thing is such a thing because they're not paid. And and I think in some sports they are I starting think. to... I think in basketball a rule was changed or something. But my point is over here at 16, you could sign for Man United and play for the first team, yeah. couldn't you? Yeah. Whereas yeah. you could be earning hundreds of thousands a week. Not that people really are at that age, but... There's no need for the college system because no, you can go pro system, at 16. Yeah, but the draft system, I think, for the NFL and the NBA and all that comes from the colleges. So right. you pick your players from the colleges. So if you don't so you go kind through of, the college... I think what's behind it, probably, I mean, people tell us... I think LeBron James didn't go... I think he sort of, like, skipped the system, right. maybe. Yeah. Sort of thing. But I think what they want to do, this is my take on it anyway, is they want to kind of probably educate the kids because they're going to be earning a lot of money. Mm. So you want them to have a bit of an education. <clears> so you go into your college first, do your college, you know, get your degrees and everything else you need and be a smart... Be a smart person. It's yeah. a great idea, you know, and then go out into the into the, yeah. Yeah, the professional so college, side, no, knowledgeable, the same as our universities. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, mm -hmm. right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So when they do the draft, they're like twenty one or something. When yeah, they come probably. out with that. Yeah. Is that the age? Yeah. Right. I, th I think it's pretty cool because look how many kids throw it all away in this country mm -hmm. that you know sign for a major team. They've got all the money. They're a star all of a sudden. No education. Don't know how to handle yeah. it. They're not trained. I'm sure they have. There was, teams. A, I think a, there was a prime example just very very recently of a young man that played for one of our local teams. Who's in serious hot water? Yeah, yeah, just a bit. The one yeah. that was wearing a balaclava the other yeah. day when he went out I think, for a drive. I, I, I think why? <laughs> of all things to wear, don't do that. Stay in, mate. I, know, I yeah. think all. I think educational wise, I think they are certainly the bigger teams are pretty big in it, aren't mm. they? they do, I think they do make sure they stay in education yeah. to at least at least sixteen and get the you know the, the exam results and yeah. stuff like that. So yeah. that could be the case. I don't. Well, I don't know if that's the way. If that's the reason, yeah. I don't know. I'm mm. not really into it. So fair enough. Is white teeth. <laughs> Have you ever wondered why all Americans seem to have great white teeth? It seems for some reason people in the USA are obsessed with getting the perfect teeth. And by perfect, I mean white and straight. <laughs> Stay still. Americans actually yeah. spend more money than any other country to make sure their teeth are white and straight. But despite all the money that's spent on getting white and straight teeth, that does not necessarily mean they're more healthy. For example, the British are often mocked for their bad teeth. But according to a Harvard University study, British teeth are actually more healthy than American teeth. Trust me, not all Brits look like Austin Powers. One reason why this may be is because in the UK, under 18s can get braces for free. However, in America, they're very expensive and there's a good reason for that. According to a study by New York Mag in the USA, good teeth can be the difference between getting a second date and not. Apparently, 38% of Americans will turn someone down for a second date if they have bad teeth. And 60% of Americans say they perceive someone as smarter if they have straight white teeth. Wow. Next up... Yeah, quick one on that. That is coming over here a hell of a lot massive. more now. You've got adverts all over yep. the place for teeth yep. straightening and whitening yep. and stuff like that. Yep. It is getting really big. And the amount of kids that you do see 
that have got braces these days, they just yeah. they all seem to have it now, don't they? At secondary yeah. school, they I all braces. seem to. Oh, did you? Yeah, and uh, I absolutely hated it because it's so restrictive on your lifestyle. Mm. So yeah, ginger and braces, ginger and braces. <laughs> it's not a good look, that is it. That, that, <laughs> that first day oh, that thanks. that first day that I went in with, they, they give you a retainer first, mm. and you just cannot talk. You've got a lisp. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, it all went so well for you at school. You know, oh, classes yeah. as well, did you? Uh, yeah, did. <laughs> bingo. <laughs> Character building. <laughs> but yeah, that first day when you like they read out the register and you've got to say like yes, miss or yes, yeah. or sir or whatever, and it's like the third, <laughs> and everyone just goes. <laughs> yeah, it's brutal. Fair, that's still up in here. <laughs> oh, this, this, this yeah. No, you get you see these flights now to like Turkey where people yeah. are doing hair replacement, uh, yeah. teeth whitening, yeah, new teeth and all that. Like, yeah, loads yeah. of stuff. Tummy yeah. tucks. Yeah. Is it full flights that are going out to Turkey daily. Yeah, yeah, de- yeah. yeah. it's huge, isn't it? Mm. When I knew I was done with braces, one there was uh, it was local here, and there was a scandal where the guy was giving braces people braces that didn't need them, and then claiming the money on the really. Oh. Yeah, he was he went to prison for it. I was in the same Good. place, but it wasn't him. Yeah, I was right, with okay. the other person, and the guy hated me, and he absolutely he, he left. You know, like you have wire. He left the wire going into my gums. He didn't cut it. And I went back into school that day and it was absolute agony, you know, just jabbing in yeah. there. And I managed to work the wire around and I just went, fuck it, right, and just ripped a full fitted brace that was all glued to my teeth. Yeah. I ripped the whole thing out and threw it on the floor. <laughs> and uh, I didn't tell him. And I went back from my, no- I didn't even tell my parents. <laughs> I went back from my normal appointment six months later for a checkup and just opened my mouth just to see the look on his face when it was gone. And it's like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Take it out, I've had enough. <laughs> is Black Friday. If you're not from the USA, you may not understand why everyone goes so crazy on this day every single year. Black Friday is the name given to the day after Thanksgiving, which is another American holiday. The term Black Friday came about because of the amount of accidents and sometimes even violence shoppers create. People go crazy for all the deals in the stores and sometimes there are riots just to get into a shop. Black Friday has expanded to other countries, for example the UK, but videos of Black Friday in other countries have gone viral for different reasons. That's because no one really cares about Black Friday in other countries, and shops often only get one or two extra visitors than on a normal day. It's because the deals in this country are absolute dog (coughs) shit, they're a scam. They put the prices up and then drop it just for Black Friday to the normal price. If you Google the deals, it's exactly the same price in loads of other shops. Yeah. Well, it's a big like, setup, isn't it? It's yeah. like a yeah. week now, anyway. It's like yeah. Black Friday week, they call it. Yeah. The yeah. whole thing's a scam. Mm. It's just another sale, isn't it? It's just yeah. dressed up in a different format, I suppose. If it really was like 100 TVs cost 100 quid that are usually 400, people would be fighting outside the shops oh, yeah, in this absolutely, country. Yeah. It's just people are smarter than you that. You do get the fighting still outside the shops. I've seen it. I've not seen it, but I've seen it on TV. I've seen a couple of yeah. clips of it years ago. I've not seen any recent stuff. No, I think it's calmed down a bit now. Yeah. Millions of dollars are spent in the USA every time Black Friday rolls around. But it seems the rest of the world just isn't into it. Next up is Solo Cups. If you're American, this may come as a surprise. But red Solo Cups are seen as a very American thing. In movies and TV shows, everyone drinks out of them at parties. And many tourists actually bring back a red solo cup to their own countries when going to America. That's because it's seen as a piece of American iconography, although many Americans don't realize this. In other countries, people simply drink from beer bottles or glasses, but in the USA, they use red plastic solo cups. Next up is free refills. When I was dining in the USA once, a waiter came up to me and said, would you like me to refill your drink? I said no because the drink was kind of expensive, and they looked at me like I was crazy. That's because it is typical in any American restaurant to have a free refill. In other countries, you'd need to pay if you wanted extra drink, but not in the USA. In other countries, if you pay for one drink, that's what you get. And many Europeans say that they find it very weird when they go to the USA and their glass gets refilled even if they don't ask. But personally... Just so you're aware, I know you're going to ask this question. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, I've seen the way you looked at me then. Yeah. I was going to think it's only for things like soft drinks and Soft coffee. drinks, coffee, yeah. yeah. Not beer and wine. <laughs> yeah, I reckon that was the case. <laughs> Just to clarify, I knew, I knew yeah, you were yeah. ask me that question. I was going to check. Yeah. <laughs> Do your tip on a free refill. You tip on or, the overall or, bill. Or, or, so that's not going to be like a drink by drink basis. You just tip at the end. Yeah, you drink, tip on the bill. Mm. Tipping, that's what I was going to ask you. Is it like, say, 20%? Mm. But is that. 
every cafe, is it every drink or just your, your whole bill or say so if you're just get, going for a quick beer somewhere? If you're going for a beer somewhere and you get like, uh, and the beer's like, I don't know, $5, let's say, right? Then just leave like a couple of, couple of dollars. Yeah. Or, you know, if you've got 10, just leave it 10. Yeah. That's what I'd do. I'd just leave $10. If it was just a couple of beers, $10. Right. You know? Yeah, fair enough. But if you're in a restaurant or whatever, tip 20%. 20%. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, you say, it depends yeah. on your bill. If you don't tip 20% on like a, you know, a $1 bill. Yeah. yeah. You know, leave $2 type thing. I'm assuming this isn't the case in like, say if you're going to a McDonald's or a pizza place or mm. something, a takeout, you don't... Is you wouldn't still tip at McDonald's. No, you no. wouldn't tip at McDonald's or anything like that. It's just takeaway. Yeah. But if you're sat, if sat in somewhere and you're getting served way to service... That's when then, it yeah. kicks in. So even if someone like, you know, it's when a pizza delivery guy comes around, you know... You probably you, you guys probably don't deliver Uber, do you? Uber Eats or yeah, or deliver Uber or anyone yeah. like that. You tip, yeah, yeah. all yeah. time. Yeah, so yeah. Mm. I enough to doing the delivery service. So yeah, when I was in Vegas, I was looking at uh, tattoo shops, mm. and we were staying in the Luxor. And I think if you went, it was well expensive though. There was a Ed Hardy tattoo shop mm. that was in. Mandalay Bay, I think it was. I think it was an Ed Hardy one. I wouldn't have gone there anyway because mm. it's proper. Like it was crazy expensive. But then I started looking at other tattoo shops and I was like, maybe I'll get something while I'm out here. And then someone told me about tipping with tattoos. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, you're not just paying for your tattoo. Yeah. You've got to tip like 20%. Oh, really? Wow. And if you're spending a few hundred dollars to yeah. get a tattoo, then you're tipping 20% as well. Yeah. So, wow. The way, the way <laughs> you know? look here, the way I put it in your mind is use it as a VAT. <clears throat> yeah. So you yeah. pay £100 yeah. plus VAT. That makes VAT sense. Is 20%. Yeah. Yeah. But you're bypassing the government and giving <coughs> it to the person. Yeah. That's that's yeah. a good way of looking yeah. at it actually. That's the way I think about that it. That makes me feel better about so, it now. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's just a tax, it's not on your bill that you've got to add it. Yeah. Yeah. So Yeah, to that's keep fair it enough. Yeah. Fair enough. I love it. I'm never gonna turn down a free drink. And finally on the list, we have flags. Every country has their flag, but no one shows off their flag more than the USA. If you drive around the USA, it's common to see people flying the American flag on their homes. Also, many buildings, schools, and businesses will have an American flag. This is something you don't see in any other country. According to research, over 150 million American flags are sold every year. And it's not exactly known why people in the USA love to show their flag off so much. Worldwide, the USA flag is the second most famous flag after the Union Jack. But no other country waves their flag as much as they do in the USA. Vote in the poll in the top right corner the most interesting common thing that doesn't exist outside the USA. I think it's an interesting one, that. The flag one is, is uh, I don't know, I've, uh, in the UAE. <laughs> it's, it's who can get the biggest flag. And I've really? seen the straights over the full front of a house. Really? I want to say a house. I'm not talking like a two-bed terrace. I'm talking about a, you know, seven-bedroomed uh, uh, villa. <clears throat> bit of a pile. And it's fucking roof to floor, just draped yeah. all over That's it. it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they go a little bit crazy with the flags over there. Definitely well. are a bit mm. sort of behind the door with flags over here because you it's get accused of being sort of like racist, racist say, don't you? If you wave the British flag straight over away. Here and, you know. Yeah, I think you can blame colonialism for that. You know, it's, mm. it's something people, it's quite sad people say it's all something we should be ashamed of and you shouldn't be waving that flag. And I think it's right place. Off, it's, I think it's right place, right time as well, though, because you know when the World Cup comes around, you see a lot of England flags, sort of like people have on cars. Yeah, yeah it looks great, doesn't it? Team and all that. Yeah. But then you <clears> see the people have got them like you know still in the bedroom window and they. Know, on the on the roads, and you're thinking, yeah. take it down now, mate. Yeah, you know, hanging off a balcony on a you know a high rise building or whatever. Yeah. I'm like, nope, take it down. <laughs> Look shit. Yeah, it was alright when the World Cup was on, mate. But now I'll take it down. It's finished. Yeah, there's a few Ukraine flags <coughs> flying there is. on big flagpoles near me. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there is at the moment. I just come back from Birmingham over the weekend. That Kel Kelstro trucks, are they called Kelso trucks? Another one on the M6. Oh yeah, yeah. The M5, M6, where it joins. Yeah, he's got a humongous Ukrainian flag flying from there. Really? He normally has the British flag flying all the time. Yeah, mm. and uh, he's got this massive Ukraine. It must be, I don't know. We've got to be close to like sixty foot. Wow. Really? That's huge. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Well, that is a that is a flag. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Some interesting ones on there. Though. Yeah, we've touched really... on a couple on previous videos. Mm. I think we? so. Yeah. I think. The yeah, one I love there, the college football or the college yeah, sport. It's just, uh, yeah, we have talked about it before. It's just absolutely incredible, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Really, it's the support and the crowds they get over there. and mm. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. It really is. I did look at tickets for uh, Ohio against Michigan. Did you? Mm. So, oh, I think you showed me. Yeah. 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 So I'm still there, uh, still debating whether to go or not. So, yeah. um, Possibly in the pipeline, yeah. maybe. Still, yeah. Nice. So, nice. Good. Yeah. That's good. I enjoyed that. Yeah, I enjoyed it too. I hope you did as well. Don't forget, like, and subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll catch you on the next Cheers, one. Guys. Cheers, guys.